One of the original reasons I ever even started this channel was specifically because looking at AMD mobile processors, they had been getting so powerful that it really caught my attention. And many PCs lately have gotten so good that it has really had me considering trying one out as my day-to-day -day computer. So this GMK Tech K8 is going to be my gaming and video editing system for the next 30 days. But there were a few upgrades that I had to do to the system to really get it to be at a level where I could do my tasks. So actually getting into the system here, we can see there are already some components in here. The main thing that interests me is the fact that we have this open M.2 here. Now keep in mind that it already came with a two terabyte SSD, which is really nice to see. It's not very standard in most mini PCs. And I'm going to be throwing in this two terabyte NVMe 3.0 SSD that I have. I understand that this system can support all the way up to PCI fourth gen. So why am I using a third gen? Well, I already had this and it's going to do a perfectly fine job in this system all we have to do is just put it in the slot here and it will work fine and in all honesty most workloads out there are going to run fine on pcie gen 3. the benefits of gen 4 are mostly just better sequential write speeds things like iops have not improved much at all over the generations so in actual use cases almost always 3.0 is going to feel pretty much identical to 4.0 and even 5.0 based nvme ssds so this will be fine for what i'm going to be doing we also already have 96 gigabytes of ram in here that is not standard for the system i had already put in 96 gigabytes before and that 96 gigabytes is going to be really nice on my main desktop right now I have an i9-12900K with 32 gigabytes of RAM. This system has three times more RAM. And by the way, when you're going to attach this lid back on, remember to plug back in the fan. The 32 gigabytes of RAM is more than adequate for most scenarios, but I have actually run into issues with Premiere where 32 gigabytes of RAM was not enough and it was causing issues. And the only fix that I really had was to turn up my page file to an even larger amount. I'm losing ssd space to make up for the lack of ram so 96 gigabytes here might actually make my premiere pro experience better though we'll have to see how the eight cores here hold up versus the 16 cores with 24 threads on the i9 you know i gotta say after putting this system together i'm pretty impressed we got four terabytes of ssd storage in here and we have 96 gigabytes of ram paired with eight zen 4 cores with 16 threads but as part of this 30-day challenge i also want to make my overall computing experience drastically different and to do that i'm going to use this 34 inch ultra wide ips 144 hertz display that i picked up from amazon during prime day i paid about 210 dollars for this after tax so it's kind of an incredible deal considering that a couple of years ago a monitor with these specs was over a thousand dollars as you can see though this monitor is gigantic and the base itself is ginormous so i'm probably gonna have the mini pc down here but as you can also see this thing is about as big as the desk it's on right now this is not where i'm going to be using this i'm just showing it to you here for demonstration purposes but this should make this little mini pc feel like a truly unique experience in comparison to my main desktop which is just a standard 16 by 9 1440p display as opposed to this 1440p ultra wide now i'm still not sure 100 how i'm going to have my desk set up with this new monitor so all of that is going to come in a later video but one thing that is pretty clear is that this is going to be a very interesting experiment some of the main things that this system is going to be doing is it's going to be editing videos it's going to be recording videos and i'm going to try my best to play games on here over the next month and see how that's going to be that's really the main struggle point and the next time that you see this system on this channel it's going to be me giving you an update i don't really have a set schedule for when i'm going to do updates it's really just going to be as i'm using it and feel like talking about anything specific by using this in my workload that i'll kind of just sit down and talk to you about it in terms of the expectations that i have I don't expect this to be too bad in terms of the video editing. I really have paid attention a lot to what the CPU performance is like when I'm using Premiere on my main desktop. And one of the main things that I've realized is that the CPU isn't really being stressed all that much across the 16 cores. It's usually just a handful of cores that are doing a lot of the work. And since the boost clock speed of this APU is very similar to what the clock speed is of my 12900K, it's actually not the all that bad there's definitely a regression in single core performance at least based off of cinnabon 
punch, but it's not all that drastic really. To close out this video though, I do want to talk to you guys about some of the systems that I was considering instead of this GMK tech. The main system that I was considering over this is really just the UM780 XTX. It is still my favorite mini PC, specifically because the model that I have is this beautiful blue. It has very similar performance to this APU here since it is effectively the same thing with the 7840HS being just the 8845HS. They are effectively identical. And one of the nice things is that in the back you are actually also get a USB 4.0 port so it makes it a lot easier to organize things on your desk when you don't have to use the front USB C. It also in general just has more USB-C ports, but really the main reason I just didn't go with it was because the GMK Tech already had the 96 gigabytes of RAM in it, and it had by default a 2 terabyte SSD along with a very easily accessible second M.2 slot. The system is also very easily upgradable, and it does have an Oculink port, but because of the fact that this design essentially requires you to sacrifice your second M.2 for that Oculink port, it effectively doesn't have an Oculink port, because I need the two NVMEs. So one of the main benefits of this system is already gone there, so that's kind of why I just didn't go with it. The second system that I was considering was actually the Alloy 9, which was one of the standout deals of Prime Day where it ended up being pretty much the cheapest system where you could get a 780M iGPU. And I particularly really like this system. I mean, the chassis itself is really nice. I think that the port selection in general is nice. But the biggest deal breaker of this system is the fact that to get inside, you have to remove these rubber feet and you effectively destroy them by doing that. So that made it a complete deal breaker and effectively meant that I could only use the GMK tech unless I wanted to harvest the SSD out of that and put it into the UM780 XTX. And while I do love that mini PC, I don't think it's worth gutting this GMK Tech just to upgrade that. So that's pretty much why I'm going to be using this GMK Tech. This is their chance to really show me just how capable their systems are. Already the more limited IO is a bit disappointing to see, but we'll see if with a USB-C dock, I can't make up a lot of those issues. So again, the next time you see this system on this channel, it's going to be me giving you an update on how things have been going. More than likely, the video after this is going to be the first one made using this mini PC. So stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one.